Hi, this is Ed Neenaber. Welcome to London, Ohio, where today we are behind a desk where they are busy loading soybeans into ocean import-export freight containers here in London, Ohio. Containers, or boxes as I prefer to call them, is a convenient means to transport goods between the manufacturers and buyers. A tremendous amount of products, such as electronics and clothing, and shoes are manufactured in Southeast Asia, are loaded into boxes, transported by trucks or rails, and shipped to the yards for their journey to the United States consumers by large steamships to U.S. ports. Once in the States, the containers are transported either by truck or rail to their final distribution point. Rather than ship these containers back to the shipyards empty and paying the railroad to move empty freight, these boxes are utilized to carry bulk commodities back to Southeast Asia. U.S. products produce corn, soybeans, wheat, and DDGs, distilled dried grains, are commonly loaded into these containers for export to Southeast Asia. Heritage Cooperative has been participating in the container loading business for almost 10 years. We ship soybeans out of our London, Derby, Kyleville branches, and occasionally Mechanicsburg and Marysville will join in the fun. In order for the process to work, the branch needs to be close proximity to an intermodal rail yard, like in Columbus, that has the market access to empty boxes and the ability to load full boxes. Container loading is a labor-intensive process for our branches. Each box has a specific weight and grade guideline that must be met. A conveyor is used to load the boxes from one end, of, and cardboard is used to hold the grain in place until the doors can be loaded. The container market provides a competitive market for branches that would normally have to rely on handling hauling by trucks to local processors. In some years, we've loaded as many as 3 million bushels of beans, which equates to over 3,000 containers. The prime loading opportunities also coincide with harvest and the winter bean export program. Once we load a container at one of our heritage facilities, it takes about one month to get it to the port of call in the Asian Pacific Rim. The next time you're waiting at a railroad crossing and a train passing contain, contains container boxes, there's a good chance some of them may contain soybeans raised on a farm near you and headed halfway across the globe. This has been Ed Neenaver. We hope to see you again soon from behind the desk.